hospital, let's negotiate. And even if you don't go, we don't have the money. Why is it that you don't want to listen to the government? Thank you again for finally having me. And uh, I hope I will give justice to my members who are eagerly watching. So first of all, Ken, to understand the context upon which we find ourselves in this crisis, you have to understand the training of a medical doctor. Our training is premised upon trust. The trust that the patient who sits in front of you is telling you the truth of what is ailing them. And the patient also trusts that whatever they're telling you, you're going to keep it confidential, you're going to make the right diagnosis, and the drug you'll give them will not kill them. So we trend in trust more than anything, and truthfulness and honesty. Mm -hmm. But we now find ourselves in a spot where the people we are engaging in are highly deficient in trust, highly deficient in honesty, and highly deficient in truthfulness. And why do I say so? Because doctors in 2013 sat down with government and a CBA was signed and put in place. The same government disowned that CBA in 2013 and forced us to sign a new one after a protracted 100-day strike. Was that 2017 or 2013? 2013 was the first CBA. 13 was the first one, okay. 2017 was the second CBA that they forced us because we insisted that no, we have a CBA mm -hmm. that you must implement. They said no, whoever signed it was a stranger, sign another one. Then they forced us to sign a new document after this, only the first one. It is the government lawyers who carried this document to SRC and they gave no objection that everything there is acceptable, sustainable. Mm -hmm. It is the same lawyers who then took this document to court and they posted it and it was adopted as a court order, not the union. Then now we meet seven years down the line, the same government comes to you telling you that no, we are disowning the second CBA again now. That then it was signed under pressure, it was near election, it was another government. So the doctors then like, wow, wow. We thought that we are honorable and honest people. Why are people changing their minds and playing ping pong games with us? And that is what our members are saying that no. This time around. We, you fooled me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. No, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. We are not ready to be fooled a second time. Okay. Okay, I'll come to you. Dr. Maitende Chalu, this is familiar ground for you. You have defended the doctors before. Why is it that we can't break this helmet right now? Is it the other side that is not sitting ground? What is going on? Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Ken. And uh,